Hi, I'm Stephanie Mirabe Ordunia, and I'm business partner at the Microclimate Wine Bar in Geneva, New York. And I'm Thomas Pastuchak. I'm the wine director at the Nomad in New York City. And we're here in the Finger Lakes, enjoying the beautiful weather, tasting some wines that uh, we are very excited about, that are great representatives of the varietals and the wines that are made beautifully in this region. Thank so the you. first wine we're tasting is um, Anthony Road Martini Reinhardt Selection Riesling 2009 uh, Finger Lakes designation. Let's give it a taste. It has a beautiful nose. What I love about Riesling is that as a grape, a lot of people have this preconceived notion that it's all about sweetness, mm -hmm. when in fact it's not. I think that the structure of great Riesling is based on both sugar and acidity. This, I think, is a beautiful expression because it brings together all of the things that I think represent Finger Lakes Riesling well, which is great cut and clarity through the minerality. But I find that for being a cool climate, you definitely have the acidity in the Riesling, but you also, as you mentioned, have that beautiful bouquet, the beautiful mm -hmm. aroma. You have lemon, you have lime, you have floral components. Oh, absolutely. You have ripe peach, the white peach. It's mm -hmm. just gorgeous. It's just it's incredible. All right, so this is Standing Stone Vineyards Gewürztraminer 2009. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't you tell me, what do you think about this? I mean, certainly a varietal that not a lot of people know about. I mean, what do you feel? Oh, well, first I'm very glad that you are pouring a Gewürztraminer from the Finger Lakes, um, because in my opinion, this is an up and coming grape varieties here. Mm -hmm. It has all the good components of a nice Gewürztraminer. I pick up the rose, I mm -hmm. pick up the... Uh, um, some lavender or pine or something. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's very aromatic and, and floral. I always I always talk about lychee yeah. and you know like you're saying rose petal and there's a lot of tangerine yes. character to it. Um, I'm really impressed with aromatic aromatic varietals in the area because again it takes a cooler climate to make them well. Actually, Standing Stones is one of the first Gewürztraminers that I ever tasted from this area, mm -hmm. and what I couldn't help but uh, remark on at first was that it was a great value. I thought that. You know, its price point relative to so many other Gewürztraminer, for instance, from Alsace, um, it's, it, the level of quality at its price I thought was exceptional. I'm from France myself, and I'm used to drinking Gewürztraminer from Alsace, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's always a nice surprise when I can find a Gewürztraminer from the Finger Lakes that fit exactly that characteristic, that varietal typicity so, of the grape. Absolutely. All right, so this is Pinot Noir, uh, Silver Thread Pinot Noir 2010. Mm -hmm. um, I love Pinot in general, especially uh, expressions from cooler climate regions um, because the motherland of great Pinot Noir is obviously Burgundy and it's great to find uh, counterparts in the, in the New World um, that can make Pinot Noir well. Mm -hmm. I absolutely agree. That being a cool climate such as is Burgundy, um, that's another grape that found its home in the Finger Lakes, mm -hmm. Pinot Noir. Um, we have huge vintage variation here in the Finger Lakes, mm -hmm. but I find that year after year, they can always make a good Pinot Noir. Pinot is a very fickle grape. It's got yes. thin skin. It's not meant to be a dark purple, you know, no. beast of a wine. I mean, Look when you think about color. exactly, you can see through this, you can see through the glass, mm -hmm. which I think is very important. Um, it means that the Pinot's, I think, been handled well, that, mm -hmm. you know, it hasn't been sort of over extracted. Mm -hmm. To me, cool climate expressions like in Burgundy um, and that you might find elsewhere in France, in Northern Italy, and, you know, here in the U.S., in the, in the Finger Lakes, to me, this is sort of the closest expression of, of Burgundy in the U.S. Um, to the, the, the real deal. And even will. though it uh, breaks my heart as a French to say that, <laughs> Price-wise also, it is very interesting. Mm -hmm. You have Pinot Noir in the Finger Lakes that are so much more affordable. It's true. So this is Damiani Cabernet Franc 2009. Mm -hmm. So Cabernet Franc, kind of an interesting grape. I mean, for me, um, I think about the greatness that it shows in France, in the Loire Valley, and also in Bordeaux, where it shows a very, very different side of the grape. I mean, it's very versatile, it's, it's sort of very dynamic. I mean, what are your thoughts? How do you feel Cabernet Franc falls? Where do you think it falls in the, in the world context here in the Finger Lakes? I think it uh, reproduces what is happening in France, uh, in the Loire Valley as a great varietal, but also in Bordeaux in blends. I have seen here some blends with Lamberger, which is also a cool climate grape variety huh? that you find mostly in Germany. And it, it shows in both cases beautifully. It's mm -hmm. another grape variety which is very expressive. And another example that red wines can do very well in the Finger Lakes. It has all sorts of aromas. I can pick up on many, many other compounds. I have the, the oak, which is very well integrated yeah. and shows leather. Yes. I think the oak definitely brings balance and mm -hmm. maybe rounds out some of the freshness too. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, a, that's a very well-made wine from the Finger Lakes. And I think it will go very well with food. Yeah, 
Definitely. But then what I love about a wine like this is that it's versatile, right? I mean, it, it plays to the heavier side, but also plays to the lighter side with its freshness. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, pair this with those heavier dishes, but also with lighter fare, like a simple roast chicken or, you know, a pasta sauce, a pasta with slightly more robust preparation, certainly with cheeses. It makes it, I think, a very versatile wine. Mm -hmm. And that being a full-bodied wine, it's incredible. Yeah.